It's the Real Estate Show. We've come to sell DR. Am I still on? Stage show with Jim Fannin. We've come to sell you DR. Many of you have been asking. Keep the inquiries coming. Buckle up. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Welcome aboard. We're going to make this a quick hit. Some of you have been asking for information regarding Dominican Republic. I am on the north coast. Sasua, Cabarete, Porta Plata, Kite Beach. Los Torinos even. I mean, what? Samana. Where do you want to go? We can get you there. If you're in North America, I encourage you to take a look at your real estate portfolio. And if you've got more than one home, you might want to cash in on some of the equity and put it somewhere stable. North Coast, Dominican Republic is stable. In fact, in the crash of 2008, they were so stable that their market prices stayed level for a decade. So from 2008 to 2018, basically there was no change in your property value. They didn't get beat up and they didn't take an increase in equity (laughs) that's as stable as it gets and when the shit hits the fan I think you can feel safe down here you won't see the market swings that you see in North America you won't see the peaks and the valleys now if you're an investor maybe you like the peaks and valleys and if you're a true real estate investor you ride out the peaks and valleys you buy to hold But, excuse me for my gurgling throat. But if you want to experience freedom, Dominican Republic, you can do that. You can start any type of business down here. There's no income tax. There's hardly even residential real estate taxes. There are some home association fees with some condos and some gated communities you know, act like taxes because you pay for services like 24 hour gated security and water and electricity and all that kind of stuff. And things are cheap down here. And it's tough for me as a 30 year veteran of North American real estate, specifically Niagara, specifically St. Catharines, but all over Niagara. And once in a while, you know, we'll take the odd listing in Toronto or out of town or something like that. But it's been really difficult for me to get acclimatized, not only to the weather, but to the, the real estate climate. Like, I look at everything down here and go, what the, this is the best deal on earth. <laughs> and then it stays on the market for three weeks. So it's a brisk market right down here, right down, right now down here. It is the slow season from now until October. So you see a lot more vacancies as far as apartments go. And you see a little little bit of activity in sales. But if you're looking to make a wise, long-term investment that's stable and provides you a getaway or a vacation home or a rental property, I'm going to show you a little bit of that. The first one up here is actually my apartment <laughs> where I rent. 
when I first came down here, I ran from Canada because I was afraid of the mandates. And so I got out a week before they closed the border to the vaccinated only. And we're not getting political. I'm just saying I did not have a lot of time to get my act together and get out of Canada. And a friend of mine down here helped me by renting this place for me. <laughs> now it's listed at 92,000. It's a, it's a decently sized one bedroom. There's the air conditioning in the bedroom. It's furnished completely. It's 92,000. It's in Cariba Campo. A residential Tropimar, for those that don't know. It does have a few drawbacks. I would encourage you, if this property works for you, to try an offer. <laughs> and listing agreements down here don't um, create agency, and there's nothing exclusive. So this is someone, a lot of the listings I'm going to promote and talk about are not mine. I don't have them signed to contracts, but if you bring the buyer, you get paid. So here we go. An oversized one bedroom furnished. Uh, let me see. I'm going to have to get the condo fees here, the home association fees. They're low though. What the hell is that? I didn't think she was taking pictures when she came here that day. That's the washing machine, and it should not have a cord in the picture. I was not prepared for pictures. I thought it was a showing coming, but it was just an agent coming to take pictures. That's the look from the deck. I think it's an old Club Med building, to be honest with you. That's what I heard. It does not have 24-hour generator backup. That's one of the drawbacks that across the street you get. But across the street, you're talking 125 for something like this. And down the street, you can get a little condo for 50, 60, 70,000. Like efficiencies, bachelors, I think they call them. Not a full one bedroom. So there is some choice. This is just an example of something that you can get into for decent money with low fees. And it's a good size. Look at me. I got my curtains tied up because I was mopping the floors. <laughs> I was not ready for pictures. <laughs> Kind of making myself vulnerable. I don't need. Good size master bedroom. Low fees. Up the hill from Super Polar Plaza. It's close to everything. You can walk to the beach in about 20 minutes from here. It's out of the way from the standpoint that it's off the beaten path so you don't get a lot of night traffic. This particular apartment is right over the, what do you call it? the roundabout between two apartments. So you do experience a little bit of traffic because the front deck uh, patio, what do you call it? <laughs> Let me see if I can find a picture of it. There's the pool. That's the, f that's the back patio overlooking the pool. And this is the front patio. What the, like those chairs are, gar like stop taking pictures of garbage chairs. Like I can't throw them out because they were here when I got here. <laughs> but down the hill from here, there's a roundabout between the two buildings. So there is a little bit of moto traffic. And because you're right on top of it, you hear it all. But I sleep like a dream. So that's not a huge deal. It's furnished. It, uh, my agent, my rental agent calls it filtration. I call it leaky ceiling. <laughs> But, and I don't know anything about construction, but I'm sure it's easily remedied. <laughs> it is on the third floor. So above you is the roof. But I think that should be a condo. It should be, I don't know how things work down here that way, but there's a couple leaks in the ceiling. Not huge ones, not, a, you know, whatever. I deal with it. But this is an example of a cheap little condominium that you can get into. Here's an, <laughs> uh, this is a, what 150 gets you for a detached home. Um, what? Uh, it, again, it, it takes some time to get used to the values down here. Look at these room sizes. Look at the size of the bedrooms. Like this is what 149 USD gets you. Like, wow. C 
come on, man. This is a detached home in Sasua. Almost everything's got a pool. Kitchens, whatever, but two-story townhouse with three bedrooms, two terraces, and views of Sasua Hills. 1.5 kilometers to the city center. 24-hour security. It's 149,000. Um, yeah. Okay, so again, this is just a quick run through. Many of you have been asking. Um, the next one I'm going to do is oceanfront. We're going to start at the cheapest ones, condos on the ocean. Um, there's not a whole lot of lots on the ocean these days. This is an interesting one. These are all new listings, and I'm when I put the the listing. Sorry, when I do broadcast this because I'm taping. Usually I go live to tape, but this is not live to tape for whatever reason. I decided to do this offline. I will put the links in the show description, but point two is where you go. Point two, the number, homes. Point two, homes.com. Search Dominican Republic and you see, you can sort them by price. And here's two houses on a large lot in Sasua. So you want to buy something to rent it out, you want to buy something to live in and rent something else out, or you want to take it all over for personal use. This is 149.9 buys you in Sasua. Four bedrooms, two baths, and it's a half acre lot almost. Yeah, 2,000 square meters of land. Everything goes by square meters, so basically it added a zero to it. You can almost multiply it by 11. So 2,000 square meters is 20,000 square feet. And we know that 44, well, maybe you don't know, 44,000 square feet is an acre. So it's just under a half acre. But again, a nice play from the standpoint that you can get in for 149, you can have some, a little bit of income and a little bit of flexibility as far as what you're doing. Okay, and on the way out, stuff we've already touched on, stuff that's still available. 71 units. This is a motel, motel. It's a hotel on the main drag, which is the number five. This is right in Cabarete across from Kite Beach. Maybe I should just look at the listing for you instead of the thumbnails. $2.3 million, 71 rooms, 59 deeds. So there's a deed. This building on the front of the road has five commercial units on the main highway and 17 units above it. That's on one title. Then out the back, there's 59 separate deeds, including 28 bungalows and 38 apartment-style condos. You can sell them all off as condos. So we've already had contractors come in. I think the bottom line was 3,000 a unit in improvements. And then you can dump these for 50, 60, 70. Who knows? There's, there's two packages that have two condos on it. So, and the rest of them are singles. But this is a play where you can get owner financing if you had a million down. He financed the rest at decent terms over a few years. And then you could go in and flip some of these things over and bring them up to four star, pimped out, and then sell them to uh, surfers. Or people that are coming in to uh, visit Kite Beach or Cabarete. And there's 28 bungalows out back where you can sell them off as condos in 30 apartment style. Now I'm repeating myself. You can catch some um, equity in this play, figure out what um, 58 times 50 <laughs> works out to. 58 times 50,000. That's your, that's your income, right? So let's see, you got a million down, 58 times 50,000. Yeah, that's 2.9 million. Even if you just, like, <laughs> so you're completely paid off, 
even if you just sold those 58 and then you're still holding this piece 17 units and five commercial units on the main strip and then you got a nice little condo building a gated community so you should take a look at that what oh i gotta bring up the beach or a okay maybe i have to pause and, and pull this up All right, so this has to be one of my favorite. This is my favorite play right here. Play, listen, big time investor. It's a play. the the the, the price is wrong. Okay, it's eight hundred thousand. Okay, this is a seventeen room downtown hotel across the street from the beach. It's right in the resort hotel district on the beach. I, it's between Casa Marina and the Marriott. And Sasua by the Sea is in front of it. So it's completely surrounded by resorts and huge hotels with money. Sasua by the Sea is actually a sitting duck as well. I th it's probably worth six mil. It's on the ocean. They'd entertain an offer, and I would expect somebody's going to swoop down and pick that up and turn it around. And turn it around. It's, it's operating just fine, but just spruce it up. And so I wouldn't be worried if you were buying this to run as a hotel. I would not worry about over improving the rooms because it's in a really good location. It's right downtown Sasua. It's close to the beach and it's right in between some really nice hotels and resorts. This one, I'll give you the location even. It's the Sunset Beacher. And we're actually working with a guy that's sniffing around right now and where the owner is from my hometown. He's a St. Catharines guy. Can you believe this? Okay. So 800,000, 850, he would look at terms. I can't tell you exactly what those terms would be, but with a decent down payment, I think we priced it the other day at like $500,000 down. He'd hold 350 at 5% for three years. Right now, it's well, it's operating right now as 16 rooms because the main floor room was turned into a kitchen to service the bar and restaurant that's on the location. This is the pool. It's got a nice waterfall. There you can see there. Uh, it's actually got an indoor uh, steps into the pool. So you can come out of the building and go right into the pool. You don't have to go out. It's just I've never seen anything like that before. It's kind of cool. It's kind of it's kind of pool. Uh, some great decks ocean views uh, it's right two doors down from spanky's got the some of the best wings in sasua where they use actual frank's hot sauce i gotta go down there today and get me some wings and there's room for for improvement like those are just bifold doors wooden doors but you put some nice glass in there like you can see some really good returns on your money if you pimp these things up and most of them are really in good shape already there's just a couple things right like those old shutters so here's an opportunity that you could, again, there, <laughs> there's separate titles. There's 10 separate titles on this property. So you could go in and do the penthouse up. It's a two bedroom penthouse. You could do that up, probably sell it for 200,000 there. Then you've got six two bedroom units all on separate titles and then three one bedroom units. Again, if you put about $3,000 into each of them and labor goes a long way down here. You put $3,000 in each room, even if you went five, right? You could turn around and sell, uh, well, 16 of them off if you kept the kitchen for the restaurant. And then you have some nice, you'd have a nice condo building. HOA fees would be cheap and it's really good access to the beach. Like, I mean, it's actually a 30 second walk to the beach. Okay, one minute. I'm exaggerating. So 800 cash will buy this. You can operate it as a hotel. I'm, if things were different for me right now and I had the resources, I'd scoop this up and run it as a hotel or a b and Airbnb. It's, it's a solid, solid unit. There's no, he, yeah. Building inspection, not necessary. Uh, he doesn't have a generator here. So there's a few things that you could do to spruce it up and flip it over and sell some condos or get some better room rates. 
down here. I mean, like figure it out. Um, let's see. Let's go 16 rooms times 50 bucks times 100% occupancy. 16 times 50 times 365. That's 292 a year gross income. So even if you cut it in half, even if you said 50% occupancy at 50 bucks a night. Now, those are really conservative numbers because 50 bucks a night is low and 50% occupancy is pretty low. You, you can almost guarantee 60 to 70% in something like this immediately. So even if you went 50 bucks a night, 16 rooms at 50% occupancy, you're 146,000 a year. And the, <laughs> the expenses are really low here and it could be run with very little. So there's a really solid play for you if you're looking to get into something where, yeah, you want to put your, your money into a, a good investment, something that will return some decent cash for you, something that you could sell off a couple units to you know, recoup some of your down payment or pay off the vendor take back because the vendor would be in a position at 850, he'll hold paper. 800, he'll walk away cash. Uh, I mean, who knows when it's on paper, cash, what he'll take. But I think 800 is the magic number. Actually, I know what the magic number is that he wants in his pocket. So if you work with us, we'll work with you. Keep in mind, referrals and bird dog fees are completely legal, and I pay USD cash. If you don't want the cash, I'll send it to you in a wire transfer. If you want to declare it to your government, that's your business. So there's one play. That's the Sunset Beecher. It's uh, downtown Sasua. This is a, a nice play at 71 units. This, again, if you, this is not a pitch, but we are getting some interest on some of these things because they're the hottest units on the market, I think, right now and reasonably priced. So if you call and they're gone, we'll find you something else. 71 units, great income possibility. There you got a mountaintop house with a large lot on a half acre, two story, 149 USD. There's a little condo, an oversized one bedroom with low fees. Oh, La Mulata. La Mulata. Number two. This is 199. La Mulata is a nice little um, gated community as well. This one's obviously not pimped out, but at 199, you got yourself a five bedroom, three bathrooms on uh, 8,000. 8,000 square meters? Hmm. Four and a half bedroom, three full baths, 199. We didn't touch on that one. My bad. Uh, Buying Dominican Republic is on YouTube. Check out the channel. It also has a Twitter account. It's called Buying Dominican. Buying Dominican Republic on YouTube and Buying Dominican on Twitter. Touch me up. Oh, I just hit uh, my first 10 subs, and I think I'm at 3,000 views. Buying Dominican Republic on YouTube is nothing but my strolls down the beach, my walk through town. Sometimes I go into clubs at night. Sometimes I talk to people on the beach. Uh, most of the time, I'm not saying anything, just walking along. Buying Dominican Republic on YouTube is nothing but real estate and my travels down here over the last seven months. Uh, buying Dominican Republic at gmail.com, I think is the address. And for donations, <laughs> you can send an e transfer directly into my Meridian bank account back in Canada, fanman1968 at gmail.com. Fanman1968 at gmail.com. If you want to make a donation to the Jim Fannin Show, now is the time to do it. Thank you very much. I am out. <laughs>